Feeling the subtle shifts in your body can be unsettling, especially when they hint at something as serious as an impending stroke. But worry not, you're not navigating this journey alone. We've plunged into the depths of the subject and stand ready to guide you in spotting these signs a remarkable 30 days before a potential stroke strikes. Welcome to the Health Benefits Health Channel. Our video today is packed with eye-opening revelations about the nine warning signs of a stroke. The astonishing cues that we're about to unveil. Life's hustle and bustle can sometimes drown out the vital messages our bodies are sending. So take a moment to pause, tune in, and get familiar with these signals. Don't miss out on the opportunity to uncover the precursor signs that you could pick up on 30 days prior to a stroke. It's not just about protecting your health. It's an act of self-care and compassion. Let's dive in and share this video, ensuring everyone around us can grab onto these invaluable signs and maintain a life filled with wellness and happiness. Feeling queasy or like you might throw up isn't usually a cause for alarm. But if it happens suddenly, especially with other stroke symptoms, it could be a warning sign your brain isn't getting enough blood. Think of your brain like a city. It needs a steady flow of blood, like traffic, to deliver oxygen and nutrients. When a stroke happens, a blockage disrupts this flow, causing a traffic jam in the brain. This disruption can trigger strange reactions, including nausea and retching. It's your body's way of trying to restore balance. Like a city trying to clear a blocked road, while nausea and retching can be stroke symptoms, they're not the only culprits. Food poisoning, viruses, or even motion sickness can cause similar feelings. There's no crystal ball to predict a stroke months in advance, but some red flags can raise your risk. Think of them like warning signs on the highway. High blood pressure, smoking, diabetes, high cholesterol, and heart problems. By managing these risks and living a healthy life, you can significantly reduce your chances of a stroke. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Number two, ever feel like exhaustion follows you around, nudging you to slow down? It might be more than just a needing of a nap. Fatigue, the relentless feeling of being drained, can sometimes be a subtle warning sign of a stroke. Think of it like a hidden message. Dig deeper and you'll see the connections. Unlike everyday tiredness, fatigue is more about a deep imbalance. Lack of sleep throws your body off kilter, as does stress, and even your diet can play a role, adding fuel to the fire. Remember, fatigue isn't the only warning sign, but if it's persistent, especially alongside other stroke symptoms like weakness or numbness, it's time to listen up. Your body might be whispering, hey, something's wrong. Number three, when you suddenly struggle to speak, it's not just frustrating. It could be your body's alarm system going off, warning you of potential brain trouble. Imagine your brain and tongue like a dance team. Usually they move in perfect harmony, forming your words effortlessly, but a stroke can disrupt this stance, leading to slurring, stumbling over words, and difficulty expressing yourself. Recognize this broken rhythm as a red flag, especially if you have other stroke symptoms. It's your body's urgent plea saying something is wrong. Check it out. Remember, these are just two examples. If you experience any of the mentioned symptoms, especially in combination, it's crucial to seek medical attention immediately. Early diagnosis and treatment can make a big difference in stroke outcomes. Imagine your blood pressure as a conductor, leading the flow of life, giving blood through your body's highways. Ideally, the music plays at a smooth 120 over 80, but when the numbers climb past 140 over 90, it's like the conductor's gone wild, a warning sign of trouble brewing. High blood pressure isn't just a number, it's a whisper that your blood vessels, especially those leading to your brain, are under pressure. They're struggling to keep up with the conductor's demands. Now, here's the twist. High blood pressure and stroke are like old enemies locked in a silent battle. 
high blood pressure weakens your blood vessels, like cracks in the city walls, making them vulnerable to attack. Even worse, it can unleash tiny saboteurs, blood clots, that block the brain's blood flow, leading to a potential stroke. Remember, the higher the pressure, the greater the risk. It's a wake-up call to get those numbers back in tune. But what causes the high pressure in the first place? It's not a solo act. It's a jam session with many players. Genetics, age, time indeed plays a role, and lifestyle choices like weight, smoking, and salty treats all join the chorus. Don't despair, though. We're not powerless. Regular checkups and open communication with your doctor are your first line of defense. And guess what? Lifestyle changes can be powerful weapons too. Exercise and healthy weight management are secret agents against high blood pressure. So let's conduct this symphony of health with care and rhythm, ensuring our bodies sing in perfect harmony, free from the discord of high blood pressure and stroke. Number five, sudden vision changes aren't just annoying, they can be crucial clues about a potential stroke. Think of them as your body's alarm system flashing red lights. Blurry vision, double vision, even losing sight in one or both eyes. These are all signs that blood flow to your brain might be disrupted. Don't ignore these subtle cues. Your body is urging you to pay attention. Number six, imagine your brain as a conductor, orchestrating your movements like a graceful dance, but when a stroke disrupts this maestro, the music goes off key, leading to balance problems. Inner ear issues, weak muscles, even some medications can all throw off your balance. Inner ear problems confuse your brain's sense of direction, making you feel unsteady. Weak muscles make it hard to react quickly to changes, and some meds can cause dizziness or drowsiness, increasing your risk of falls. These factors can work together, making balance problems even worse. So if you suddenly find yourself stumbling and falling more often. Don't dismiss it as clumsiness. It could be a stroke warning. Number seven, feeling numb or weak in your face, arms, or legs isn't something to brush off, especially when it comes to strokes. Sure, these symptoms can sometimes be caused by things like pinched nerves or arthritis, but when they strike suddenly and unexpectedly, especially alongside other stroke symptoms, it's time to listen up. Think of these symptoms as your body's way of shouting, danger. Don't ignore this crucial warning. Seek medical attention immediately to rule out a stroke and get the treatment you need. Number eight, we often dismiss forgetfulness as a normal part of aging, but new research suggests memory problems might hold a deeper meaning, especially for people with higher education. A study by Erasmus University Rotterdam found a surprising link between memory lapses and increased stroke risk, particularly in college students and skilled professionals. This is a new twist as previous research focused on how strokes impact memory, not the other way around. The study found a staggering 39% higher risk of stroke in educated individuals who reported memory problems. This suggests that memory lapses, especially sudden or persistent ones, can be an early warning sign for some people. Remember, this is just research and individual risk factors vary. But if you're experiencing unexplained memory problems, especially if you have other stroke risk factors, it's a good idea to talk to your doctor. Number nine, sudden headaches. Those sudden intense headaches, they're like the body's way of waving a flag, especially if they bring along some other symptoms. Now, headaches come in all shapes and sizes, and it's worth understanding their origins. There's tension, there are migraines, and then there's the classic sinusitis, all parts of the headache family. But here's the thing, when it comes to severe headaches and strokes, there's a connection we shouldn't ignore. If your head is pounding and you've got other symptoms hanging around, it's like your body sending a message in code. By putting these pieces together, we can act quickly and maybe even lessen the risk of a stroke. So let's give these signals the attention they deserve and keep ourselves on the healthy track.